I started Msafiri Tours many years ago as an alternative company that provides reputable, ethical holidays for people who are looking for something different. The cultures, the environment, the wildlife, in the places where we work. The holiday for people who come and see the beauty of the country, appreciate the beauty, but also contribute where possible. We are the leaders in responsible, ethical travel in Uganda. Musafiri is a person that goes on a journey or a traveler. The Swahili word, from the word safari. Our slogan is much more than the average African safari, or much more than the average holiday. We take you off the general beaten track. We give you opportunity to see parts of Africa that normally you wouldn't get on a general safari. We wanted to give people opportunity to see Africa for what it actually is. So we give you a chance to go into the communities, live with the people, work with them, hear their stories, share your skills, and that way you go back with a more enriched view of what life is in the country that you appreciate. We are trying to develop what we have called volunteerism, which is basically volunteering and tourism. We bring a group that has resources to share with our people. They will come, say, for 12 days. They'll work for six days. And then the other six days, we give them opportunity to see Uganda at its best on a safari. Whether they're teachers, social workers, nurses, or just enthusiasts, we bring doctors, we brought lawyers. The doctors, we have a strong link with Iganga Hospital. I have uh, strong links with Iganga and Busoga region because that's where I come from and I want to personally contribute using tourism to the development of my region and my people. So we encourage tourists to come and put resources into developing our communities. People think tourists have to come from America or England or whatever. You know, we have a beautiful country. There's a lot of, a lot of things to see and we believe we can develop a form of tourism that caters for the needs of the local people. We also provide services for not necessarily touristic people but corporate people. Maybe they want to go on a retreat, team building activities or just general people who want to go on a honeymoon or just a weekend away or just a one day city tour or even if it's just one hour. We cater for everybody's needs. We have something for everybody. Over the next 10 years we want Musafiri Tours to be established and to be known as a brand a leading brand for responsible tourism in East Africa. We're looking to go into South Africa as well. We also want to continue developing different angles of tourism that provide unique experiences for people. We've just started uh, a photography safari. We've started uh, a painting safari. So basically people will come over, they'll go to the park to see wildlife, but instead of just taking pictures and go, they will sit there and enjoy the scenery and they will paint what they see and these paintings can be then shared with the world wherever they go back. We have planted trees in Masaka and Rakai. We have just hosted a group from Bahrain who have just left and they have they brought a lot of resources. We they brought books and clothes and pens and pencils. They built benches and desks for a poor a poor school where a group of very needy children in Deb, I think it was here in Kampala. They also supported uh, Munazamat Al-Dawa project which supports Muslim communities. They bought food for 800 families. Uh, they also donated a lot of materials and money there again. Over the last few years we built a, a medical center in my village, Busu, which is where I was born. In Busu, again, we take nurses, we take doctors and we work together with the hospital, we have helped Busu Primary School. When we started to help them, they had one classroom and the kids used to sit under the trees. But over the years again, using teams through our volunteerism program, we have brought people who have actually helped us and we have built a school. Uh, the school has 700 children and it is a typical village school where some of the classes are not cemented, the floor is not cemented but at least they have a shelter where they can sit if it's raining or hot. To achieve good health care, we need a medical center, but we also need education. That's why my focus is on this primary school. And then eventually turn that into a vocational program, give people skills, because they don't all have to have degrees, but we can equip them with carpentry skills, tailoring, basic things that they need to survive in a harsh environment. We have helped build a school again in Iganga. We have built a school in Gulu. We have built in Igang over the last six years a small community medical care, medical facility called Subi Medical Center or Isubi Medical Centers would be in my language. 
Isubi means hope. It is now graded as Medical Center 3, which is a level before a hospital. It's not very big, it's very basic, but it provides simple medical care for our people. We have a maternity wing, we have a male wing, we have a small children's ward, we have um, a small lab and a pharmacy. And we provide services for nine villages, a catchment areas, nine villages. We're running a lot of uh, community health care services where our service providers and nurses go out in the community. We're running sessions on uh, HIV prevention, family planning, even basic things about hygiene. We've also started programs now to encourage people to grow things that can help them get out of poverty. We have started a scheme that is helping women to save money, so they meet every week, they deposit a certain amount of money which is saved for them. We have started encouraging young people to go back to their roots through music and we are using music as a tool uh, to communicate health care matters. So through skits and drama and songs, we are communicating health care messages to, to the community. It has been a long struggle, a toil, but I believe we are getting there. My vision, my dream is to build, within the next five years, is to build a, a, a 100 bed proper hospital with all the modern facilities for our people. They don't pay, they pay a very, very, very small fee to, 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 to be treated. The biggest percentage of what we need to run the hospital is covered by uh, surplus money we get from the company, but also from a few generous individuals who donate money to us. Baba